Hi everyone, I was in the Decathlon the other day and I saw this backpack, it's the Kesha 30 litre country walking backpack and it was £14.99. I had a little look at it in the shop and I thought that actually looks quite well made, it looks pretty solid. I have a little look on my phone, 460 grams roughly, so it's nice and lightweight and it's properly 30 litre and it's got loads of little pockets and bits and pieces, it's well made and constructed I thought I'd show it to you because it could be interesting. I think not only could this work as a day pack, but it could work probably as a, an overnight or summer bag. You could do long distance trails. So if you had something like a land chain, you could put that on the bottom of it and probably get most of your other gear in. Let me just show you, it's quite interesting. So that's what the pack looks like itself, just like this. But I'll go around the outside first. It's got carrying loops on the bottom, which clip in. Remember, this is only £14.99, I think it's quite good. And they're, they're strong, they're actually decent quality. They're, they're pretty good. The little pockets on the side are really stretchy. Uh, one and a half litre water bottle sits in, and it sits in pretty well as well. The back's comfortable, it's not aerated, you know like how the Osprey ones are, but it's actually really comfortable. There's no frame in it, it just folds, but Straps are pretty decent as well. They've got carrying loops on here. They're really basic. I mean, you know, it's 14 99 you can't expect too much. But look, it's got that on both sides and it's also got an adjustable chest strap. And it's actually really comfortable. That was the surprising thing. I did try it in the shop and I was like, you can't tell a lot when there's not much weight in it. So I have loaded it up with sort of like seven kilograms worth of stuff just to see how it carried that. And it's really nice, it spreads the load very well. It's got what I liked from the Talon 44 by Osprey, is, is these wide shoulder straps. It's, it's not about the thickness when it comes to shoulder straps, it's about the width because it spreads the load. Like you need a little bit of thickness, it's like that thick, and that's enough. But it spreads the load really well. It's also got other loops to hang things off of here as well. I think that these ones were designed so you could do that thing where you pull your thumbs into them and pull them forwards. You could work this with a water bladder, although I wouldn't really bother in a 30 litre pack, but I'll show you in a bit why you can do that. But these loops here would allow you to do that if you wanted to. It's also got a waist belt there. I don't think I'd bother with on a pack of this size. I probably wouldn't bother. I might even just cut that off. The material itself that it's made from, um, it just feels very tough. I don't think it's waterproof, but it kind of looks like it might be, but I doubt it. It's got a nice pocket on the outside here. It's not particularly deep, but it has a reasonable amount. And, and that could be for sort of gloves, hat, very small first aid kit, that kind of thing. Now it has tightening straps here. I suppose you, you, I wouldn't put a tripod in something like this, but you could attach, if you had a really light one, you could get away with it probably and then tighten it up with this, uh, with this buckle. Um, a little carry handle at the top, which every backpack has. Now the opening of it is like both sides at the top like this. So there's no top brain. There's only the, there's only the back here where you can put extra things. But inside, We've got a really nice layout. So we've got another pocket here, and this has a, a mesh. So it's very breathable. It's like an insect mesh, not like a midge one, but just like a, a simple mesh pocket. On this part up here, there's a little, that could be another one sort of first aid kit, little valuables, keys or whatever, if you wanted to as well. And then there's this stretchy pouch here which you could put a water bladder into. The only thing if you use a water bladder, you have to remember is it needs pressure. It's not gravity fed. It, it needs other stuff in the bag pushing on it to make the pressure to make the water go through. Sometimes people think water bladders are gravity fed. They're not, they can't be. They're, you have to have pressure to go through. And then you could loop, you could kind of close the bag like this have the straw part come out and then feed down here. You could do it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do it. The thing I like with this pack, which is probably fairly obvious, but it, it isn't actually, when you look at how other packs are designed, is this is very square. Now, the, the thing you'll see is, when you start looking at other bags, is that 
there's always something weird. They usually like a funnel cone shape like this, or that maybe they're like an hourglass shape where they come in and out. Whereas this packet is actually just very rectangular. And that makes packing it much easier because you don't have to get things into weird shapes. When you start looking at bags, really pay attention to the shape of the inside, like lift it up like this and look and see, does it get narrower as it gets to the bottom? Does the, the back come in? You, you get all of these unusual design shapes on backpacks that don't seem like a big deal when you look at it in the shop, but when you actually go to pack it, suddenly you've got to make things go into cone shapes and triangles, and whereas everything is designed to be packed in cylinders or squares. So it's worth paying a lot of attention to that as well, I think. For Lanshan users, I think in particular, and I'm saying that because I only have a certain number of tents that I can try with something like this, but the, the Lanshan fits very nicely at the bottom here, which frees up a lot of the space inside the pack, which gives you some interesting packing options. Now, most other backpacks, when you want to get down into this kind of weight range of they start to become very, very expensive. And one of the good things with Decathlon, I find with them, is their stuff is generally well made. It's like a mid-level product at entry-level basic prices. But this has really been thought out. Like even having the stretchy part here, you can put your wet rain jacket on here to dry and you can tighten it. So you can pull it in. I know that sort of seems obvious, it's just at this price point, it's surprising. It also has walking pole loops as well, which you can stick your walking poles in. And you can adjust that to carry just one, or you can make it bigger to carry a couple. So at the moment, I'm thinking about doing the North Downs way, and I'm considering, do I take my Lanchan 2 and this backpack, because it might be enough to actually do it. It's surprising sometimes what you come across in shops um, and what you can kind of get away with. 30 litres is, is a decent size. I've had a little pack with this, so like a practice pack, and it's good, the amount you can get into it, it's decent. The outside pockets make it for me. This is something that manufacturers need to pay attention to, but this is solid. That is strong and it fits a decent sized bottle into it. That's the one thing that makes a pack this size work is that if the external attachments such as this and these pockets and having a, a bit of space out here for stuff that you want to grab easily, it's, it's about the actually the outside of the bag working and then the shape of the pack being properly squared off so you can pack things into it. And it ticks all those boxes. It does make me think I might have a look, like if they did a 40 litre version of this, I think they'd really be in business with a product like that. Just do exactly the same thing, just slightly larger. Two of the other backpacks that I use on a regular basis are the Exos 48 and the Talon 44, both from Osprey. And if you have a look at this video here, you'll see my comparison between the two.